Today marks one year since a gunman killed five people and hurt two others in a mass shooting that spanned across the metro. It started at a Denver tattoo shop. It ended in a shootout with police near the Belmar Shopping Center in Lakewood. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon shares how the people whose lives were changed by two deaths that day are coping and remembering their loved ones. That night was, was one of the, the worst nights of all of our lives. Everyone outside this Lakewood hotel. You go into this never thinking it's is here. It's going to be you or your family to celebrate and remember a life clearly lived well. This turnout really kind of shows just how loving and and amazing of a person she was. Sarah was my girlfriend. Sarah Stack and Trevor Champanel had been dating for three years. We texted throughout the day and then, you know, uh, I get a call and it was the worst news I've ever gotten in my life. So he spent the past year without Stack by his side. Miserable at best, seeing her at every single day to not at all is the hardest part and it still is. Steck was the last of five people shot and killed senselessly on December 27th, 2021. She has cats and they're now my cats and I know they miss her because I miss her. The mass shooting that ended in Lakewood started at Soul Tribe, a tattoo shop in Denver. There will never be anybody like her ever again. Standing by the mural, Jer 451 helped paint of his dear friend Alicia Cardenas, another one of the victims. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to describe what the year has been like. Time doesn't really uh, bring her back and doesn't change anything. So the best thing I can do is live my life the way in a way that Alicia would be proud of me. Grateful to have memorialized her in this mural on the same street where some of her own art lives. Well, I'm sure there's you know, hundreds of other people that feel the same way that I do. Everyone wishing they had one more hello. There is no goodbye. It's just a see you later. But promising to carry on the light they loved so much. She's not gone. She's still here. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.